Portuguese Inquisition, Portuguese Inquisição Portuguesa, officially known as the General Council of the Holy Office of the Inquisition in Portugal, was formally established in Portugal in 1536 at the request of its king, John III. Manuel I had asked for the installation of the Inquisition in 1515 to fulfill the commitment of marriage with Maria of Aragon, but it was only after his death that Pope Paul III acquiesced. Thousands of Jews forcibly converted to Christianity in Spain and Portugal were subjected to religious persecution for continuing to adhere to their ancestral faith. The Spanish and Portuguese Inquisitions lasted for centuries. The Inquisition typically conjures up images of intolerance, persecution, and violence, and rightly so. The Spanish and Portuguese Inquisitions that begin in the late 15th and 16th centuries and lasted well into the 19th century were rooted in the papal inquisitions of the earlier medieval period. The purpose of these tribunals was to arrest and punish persons who deviated from accepted beliefs and practices of the church. These courts in turn were ultimately linked to the religious panels established as early as the reigns of the Roman Emperor Theodosius in the West and Justinian in the East. The major target of the Portuguese Inquisition was those who had converted from Judaism to Catholicism. The conversos, also known as New Christians, conversos or Maranos, who were suspected of secretly practicing Judaism. Many of these were originally Spanish Jews who have left Spain for Portugal when Spain forced Jews to convert to Christianity or leave. A. Barrington, a treatise on physical geography comprising hydrology, Geognosy, geology, meteorology, botany will give us further insight into the lives of the Portuguese and Spanish Jews. Thus, the Jews are a people who have ever, according to the prophecy, dwelt alone without intermixing with the nations to this day. Now this separate race all descended from brown ancestors for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob must have been as dark as Mar Yohanan, if not darker. Exhibit every shade of color from the black Jews of Malabar of whom we have such an interesting account by Dr. Claudius Buchanan to the rose and lily complexion of the Jewess of the banks of the Elba. We need go no further than the Jews of the southern Spain and compare them with those of Holland and northern Germany to perceive a very striking difference. The Spanish Jew is always dark complexioned and in his hair is uniformly black whilst the German Jew is often as fair as any German and has light or red hair with blue eyes.